Hi everyone, Miss Sheer here from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, California. Welcome to our room series where we celebrate the culture, history, and achievements of the many different countries that make up the unique community of San Diego County. Today, we are going to learn about a country that has had one of the oldest continuous civilizations in the world. That country is Ethiopia. Are you ready to learn about the history, art, and culture of Ethiopia? Yeah? Let's go. Hello, everyone. We will be presenting Ethiopian culture today. The picture shown on the screen is of the flag of Ethiopia, consisting of the colors green, yellow, and red. The blue and gold center star symbolizes unity, an important feature of the Ethiopian culture that we will later get into. So, where is it located? Ethiopia is located on the eastern part of the African continent, otherwise known as the Horn of Africa. Neighboring countries include Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia, Sudan, and South Sudan. As we move on to the rich culture traditions, Ethiopia is one of the oldest independent countries in Africa and the world. Ethiopia is about 2,000 years old. And in Ethiopia, there is approximately more than 80 different ethnic groups that speak more than 80 languages. The photos shown on the screen are some of the oldest buildings in Ethiopia and the world. The photos on the left and the middle show Lalibela, a rock-cut church known for its distinct carvings from the early 12th and 13th centuries. That's older than a lot of us. The photos on the right of the tall building, Aksum, was built using one singular slab of stone, a monument that's still standing there today. Food is an important part of Ethiopian culture. One of the staple foods of Ethiopia is injera, a spongy sourdough flatbread. Typically used to scoop up the meat and vegetable stews, injera also lines the tray on which the stews are served together. Eating together on one plate is an essential part of Ethiopian food culture, emphasizing the closeness and coming together of friends and families. Feeding one another is also an important part of eating customs, which we call gursha. Gursha refers to the feeding of one another, usually as a gesture of affection and respect. Moving on, the festivals and celebrations in Ethiopia are also a really large part of the culture. These include music, dancing, eating, drinking, and all other elements of celebrations. Religiously, there's a large population of Christianity and Islamic followers. While many of the celebrations are based around religion, wedding parties are also widely celebrated as well as other cultural holidays. Moving on to the musical instruments, music in Ethiopia is also a large significant factor of the celebrations. String instruments like the karar and masinko are typically used among most types of celebrations. The kabaro, a drum-like instrument, is also popularly used in weddings and churches along with songs. The next video will be a short clip of the masinko being played and sung. As we move on to the coffee ceremonies, this is one of the most essential parts of the Ethiopian culture. This involves the roasting, grinding, and brewing of raw coffee beans and can happen multiple times within the day. Bunna, otherwise known as coffee, is an important tradition where close friends and families come together to drink coffee and socialize with one another. Here, we have the bunna slash coffee process going on. The raw beans are first roasted, and then they'll be grounded and placed into the javana. 
A jabana is a clay container specially made to be used for coffee making. After mixing the grounded coffee with water, the brewing process begins and so does the, cook the cooking of the coffee. After the cooking of the coffee, we give it time for the grounds to settle, filtering the coffee smoother, and the process is then completed. Thank you guys for watching, and we hope you learned a fact or two about Ethiopia and its culture. Wow! Ethiopia is such a fantastic country! Thank you so much, Miss Eden from the United Women of East Africa support team for sharing such a wonderful video about Ethiopia with us. If you would like to learn more about Ethiopia, stop by one of the 36 branches of the San Diego City Public Library to pick up a free hands-on roots activity kits. These fun and engaging kits do go fast, so please call ahead about availability. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.